Mark Milner sails. And good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Wilmer Fest Grand Day Parade coverage. I'm Bev Davis. Good morning, Bev. I'm James Miller. And we're here with the rest of the gang to uh, tell you about all of these fine entries in our parade. And we start out with our fine Wilmer Police Department, followed by American Legion Post 167, VFW Post 1639, with their color guard. Candy, mm -hmm. Ohio, and they finally made it here in front of the uh, Rack Studios, uh, right between what Fourth and Fifth Street here. <laughs> Post. And the little sprinkle of rain we got didn't slow things down one bit. Big time. Well, and better rain than snow, as cold as it is. Yeah. This way. You, you can see the umbrellas out and people bundled up. And, oh, there's the old classic fire truck with our, our Wilmer City Council members. Baggerly and Fernando Alvarado with Ward 3 and then Sean Muskie and Audrey Nelson. Who's, can you tell who's driving the truck today? I, I didn't know. Maybe Can't. <laughs> but they're throwing candy and uh, definitely having a lot of fun here as part of the Wilmer Fest Grand Day Parade. It's always fun to see them bring out the old classic yeah. fire trucks. Yeah, that's cool. And the Wilmer Fire Department, of course, always at the front of the parade, wishing you a happy and safe Wilmer Fest 2017. Now they have their pancake breakfast that they do annually as part of Wilmer Fest. That started at seven o'clock this morning. We were one of the first group there. And uh, that's going all the way until it's one so o'clock today. It's so good, especially if you do the run and you get done and go eat some cakes. Yeah, it's always better to have the pancakes after the run. Much. Yeah, the run run goes a lot better <laughs> if you do that second. Uh, they're bundled up too. I, I like when they had the ladder trucks. They had both the new and the ladder truck they've had for a few years up with the ladders fully extended this morning. Yeah, saw um, that. Yep, right their by crew the was out there helping out. At least on a normal day like today, the candy will melt down the road like it usually does. <laughs> I was thinking that, you know, that wouldn't have happened last year, the full gear, because it was in the 90s. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I, I believe the start temperature, 57, as they kicked off the parade after the, <clears throat> the rain came through. So uh, yeah, definitely it's usually pretty warm. Better walking weather. Usually the Wilmer Fire Department wins the award for the most units <laughs> in the Wilmer Fest Parade. Our, our friends from Haug Implement always try to come close to topping mm -hmm. it. They definitely have the biggest pieces of equipment, mm -hmm. but uh, the Wilmer Fire Department definitely shows up uh, loud and proud yes. at the front of the parade. We're so fortunate to have these great emergency services in our area and how well they work together when we need them. Absolutely. Well, and here we have the Wilmer Ambulance Service. They're, of course, a department of Rice Memorial Hospital. The Wilmer Ambulance has primary service area that covers, I don't know if a lot of people know, it's 137 square miles, and they assist all of Kandiway uh, County. Wilmer is an advanced life support ambulance service and has um, had 3,200 calls for service back in 2016. And they have 15 full-time staff and then 30 casual staff and uh, five ambulances. And we'll see quite a few of them here uh, this morning. Mm -hmm. 
We also have the Candy High County Rescue providing vehicle extrication, water rescue, air supply, search and rescue for the entire county of Candy Ohio. No, they really are a well-oiled machine, the whole crew, whether it's the fire department, our police department, mm -hmm. our rescue squad, they work so well together. Right. Um, you know, the, the lines of communication are there and they, they definitely, uh, definitely keep us safe and do everything they can to help us out when we're in a rough situation. And our Grand Marshal, retired city employee, Kevin Holliday. Now, Kevin and his wife there are waving. Kevin, a uh, longtime WilmerFest board member, and then moved from a board member position to city liaison. We kind of switched things up a number of years ago. And so he's been very active, very involved with WilmerFest, and uh, stepped down when he retired from the uh, city clerk position when he was helping out kind of his in interim city administrator. Uh, he, d he retired and uh, stepped off the board, and now we get to honor him as the, the Grand Marshal. And there is our mayor, Marv Calvin. And there is our Wilmer Fest parade float. You can see Queen Carly Derwin on there, and National Princess Hannah Erickson, Aqua Princess Alicia Howarda, and then our, our Junior Prince, Austin Olson, uh, Sophie, our Junior Princess, and our Senior Ambassadors, uh, Jan Schmeling and Ralph Geyer. And, I tell you what, great family to work with, the entire Wilmerfest family. We, uh, we drag them around to about 37 parades every year. Oh, yeah. uh, it's been just a, an honor and a pleasure to work with this entire crew. Our three young ladies handing down their crowns later today at the coronation over at uh, the uh, WEAC building. That'll happen today at 3 o'clock. If we can zoom in there, that's our, uh, our uh, new senior royalty. Uh, she was crowned at the uh, community center just this past Wednesday. It's uh, Audrey Buzio. It's always so fun to watch. I just love that. And our new juniors, look at them. I tell you, Annalise Scott and Dante Ramirez. They were both so excited at the oh. block party Thursday night. <laughs> the look on the look on Dante's face, he was just excited. <laughs> and they get to ride their first parade and they even got their umbrellas. They're all set to go. That's great. And we have the very recognizable turkey from the Genio Turkey Store, an industry leader. Innovative, empowering, rewarding, progressive, diverse. They have about 1,500 products, just a few. Mm -hmm. And uh, great recipes, of course, headquartered in Wilmer. And Genio Turkey Store has over 7,000 team members employed throughout the United States. And they are a uh, premier sponsor of this Wilmerfest celebration, have been for, for a number of years. They've got two turkeys this year, it looks like. Kind of fun to see some, I don't remember that float last year before either. Oh, that one definitely Changed is Changed it different. up a little bit. And we have uh, one of our first candidates for uh, Wilmer Fest, and this is Megan Peterson. Megan is the 19-year-old daughter of Jason and Nicole Peterson. She's a 2016 High Honors graduate from Wilmer Senior High. She's participated in band, choir, uh, varsity music lettering in both of those disciplines, National Honor Society, girl swim team, a very involved young lady. That was Megan Peterson. And she's sponsored by the following float here, Wilmer Bus Service, and our uh, honorary Commodore from last year's Aquatennial, Mike Kubish, driving oh, one of yeah. the big buses there. Uh, but Wilmer Bus is sponsoring uh, Miss Megan Peterson. They've got their charter service, and of course, uh, their big buses they use for the Wilmer School District. You know, they, uh, they're the Wilmer School District official uh, bus company from all the way through 12th grade, special needs, early childhood work. Their charter bus is available for wedding shuttles, company trips, they do sports. Uh, great staff, very reliable, very friendly. Um, it's just it's just great to have them in the area, and of course they're uh, uh, very helpful with us for Wilmer Fests. And Mike, uh, as the honorary commoner, also one of our board members this okay. year, so uh, it's great to have them involved. We're about to have our first band coming up here. Yeah, you can always kind of tell just by the body language of people that something's something's happened, mm -hmm. right? They can hear them coming and before they even arrive. And this is uh, 
the fellow who's been selling fun stuff to kids for years and years. What did you say? Forty years? It's been 40 a long time. Years Matt with Miller. Orfest parades, yeah. That's cute. I want an, I want an inflated <laughs> Scooby Doo dog. Come on. And not too far down the road from Hutchinson, they're marching tigers. They are proud to present the Tree of Life based on the Shaker hymn entitled Simple Gifts. And the band is under the direction of Kevin Kleindahl and Cindy Myers, drum majors, Maddie Ellis, and Emma Tretton. Again, the Hutchinson Marching Tiger Band. have the Montevideo Fiesta Days Ambassadors, Kaylee, Madison, and Lauren. They were just crowned this past Father's Day, along with Junior Ambassadors uh, Brooklyn and Espen. Uh, they're delighted to make Wilmerfest their first official appearance. And the Montevideo Fiesta Days always had a great relationship with Wilmerfest. They're held the third weekend in June, or Father's Day weekend mm -hmm. is always when it is. So mark your calendars for next year. And we also have the Minneapolis Aquitennial Ambassador Organization and the Wilmer Fest Parade today, uh, celebrating their celebration, rather, the third week in July for the last 77 years. Here's the uh, South Dakota Snow Queen Festival. That's uh, usually held in uh, January out in Aberdeen. Uh, we have the 2017 South Dakota Snow Queen, Brianna, the seven, 2017 South Dakota Junior Snow Queen, Emma, and then co-ambassadors, Katie and Stephanie. They're helping out with them. Here's some of the Kitty Parade participants. Oh. Uh, <laughs> we have Main Point School of Dances coming up, but this is Mario and Luigi, you know, you know the Mario brothers. Right. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and here's Main Point School of Dances. They're coming up. Uh, they were one of our uh, winners from this year's Kitty Parade and get a chance to move up and be part of the uh, front of the parade. I think they were actually uh, initially like way back in the back. And mm -hmm. they said, wait a second, you guys are actually one of the Kitty Parade winners. The Main Point School of Dance offers classes for preschool all the way up through 12th grade and high school. They offer a wide variety of classes, ballet, point, tap, jazz, high kick. Uh, as well as modern dance. They're very excited to announce they've recently moved to an actual studio location in uh, Candy, Ohio. You can get out there and check it out and maybe take a dance class. I, I think it'd be fun to learn to dance. Oh, Savannah was with them and she, yeah, great. They did a great job. 
And yeah. they had just a mass of kids, and they do today yeah. too, handing out candy, but uh, showing off some of their dance skills at the mm -hmm. uh, Kitty Parade. Cool. The other thing you'll see from time to time popping into the picture and out of the picture are, are the one of the Boy Scout troops. Um, okay. They do a, a ton of work and help out um, with some of the setup and, and cleanup for both uh, after the parade and then also out at the beach party later tonight. Right. But then they're out selling some refreshments right. uh, along the parade route too. Always so appreciate it. Great to have them as part of the Wilmerfest celebration. I have to admit, I still haven't parted with any of the dance costumes. <laughs> now, did you ever Whole learn to dance when your daughter was doing it? Or <laughs> of course not. Just watch. <laughs> just watch. Mm -hmm. Just, just paid and watched. And this is Congressman Colin Peterson from the Seventh District. He has a local office just around the corner. He'll get to drive by that just about as he's. Mm -hmm. Cruising here. <laughs> and coming up right behind uh, Colin Peterson is our next of our 10 Wilmerfest candidates this year. This is Rayanne Schmidt, the 19 year old daughter of John and Kathy Schmidt. And as a matter of fact, dad's riding in the car with her. He was pretty excited about that. Usually he's on the sidelines yelling Schmidt at all of her <laughs> swimming meets. She's a very oh, accomplished okay. distance swimmer, was also in band and choir. Her Wilmerfest sponsor is uh, Data Success, which happens to be her dad's business. So he was able to, to be part of this and, and to sponsor his very daughter nice. as part of Wilmerfest. And if I remember right, that's her uncle mm -hmm. driving the car. So it's a, it's a whole family affair for, for the Schmidt family. Spooky stuff here, the Anoka Halloween Royal Ambassadors, Chloe, Lauren, and Skylar. They want to invite everyone to their festivities, which happen obviously in the month of October. And they're wishing you an early happy Halloween. So again, that's the Anoka Halloween Royal Ambassadors. They have one of the most fun parades that we go to with Wilmerfests every year. You actually have to have a costumed themed oh. float. So we've done things like Greece and a Hawaiian fun. theme. Uh, one year we had the uh, traveling gnome, mm -hmm. you know, from the, the yeah. travel commercials. Sure. And it, it, just a lot of fun. But they are they are the Halloween capital of the world in in Anoka. I would say little old Anoka, but it's not so little anymore. Right. Uh, they they definitely uh, get a little spooky every year with their float. Behind them is actually the Cambridge Ambassadors. They doubled up on the float today, uh, came all together, and so you'll see the, uh, the three girls sitting in the chairs. There at the Anoka. Behind them is the Cambridge Ambassadors, and we're glad to have them out as part of our visiting dignitaries celebrating Wilmerfest with us here. It's our 72nd Wilmerfest celebration, back from when it was Coffee Fest originally to today. And this is one of our Downtown lovable locations, the Goodness Coffee House, Wilmer's nonprofit downtown coffee shop and cafe. One of the more fun and energetic floats, it's the Hopkins Raspberry Festival. They're excited to be here as always. Their float portrays a raspberry basket to honor the history of the festival. It was actually started by businessmen and farmers during the Great Depression to boost business and get people to come to Hopkins. Uh, they celebrate in the middle of July with their raspberry festival. Their junior royalty, Princess Hayden, Queen Catherine, they're riding on a mechanical spinning raspberry. The senior ambassadors, that's Senior King Ray and Queen Maggie, they're nestled in a basket on a bench. And then Princesses Safrona, Caitlin, they're on the raspberry teeter-totter. And then Queen Jezebel, she's got the raspberry swing as she's waving away. And this is from the Wilmer AG, Assembly of God Church, and they want to promote their vacation Bible school that runs July 30th through August 2nd.
too much. I love their holiday program. It's wonderful. We go every year. Wow, they always have so much fun, do such a great job with all of their things. Hey, we know these people. Yes, uh, Lakeland Broadcasting Station's Q102, KWLM, Big Country and the Train. We've got the KWLM Cruiser here right in the front. Uh, we'll try to sneak and see who's hiding hey, in there. Hey, whose hand is that? <laughs> Could that be Clean Bill Dean or maybe J.P. Cola? <laughs> you just never know. And Q-Mobile. Now, Q102, of course, proud sponsors of Works Over Water happening tonight. A uh, lot of fun happening out at the uh, beach party. We kick things off this year with a free Little Crow ski show. There's not gonna be a cost. You can come out, enjoy the ski show, hang around for some music from the White Keys, and then at 10 o'clock, that's when they light off the fireworks from the pier out at Robbins Island, the Works Over Water Fireworks Show. That's There's very attractive. Dan Shell from the Q102 <laughs> Morning Show. Yeah, we're very excited to have him as part of it. And they've been doing it for a number of years. The fireworks, of course, all synchronized to music. You know that, Bab, you've been part of that over the years. I think we've got Big Country Bob driving the Big Country Hi. Cruiser. Yes. And I believe this is the Road Less Traveled Ministries. Spreading the word. A couple of cool rides they have there. I'm anticipating another band coming up here, Bev, and I, I think it's gonna be one we're pretty excited about to see. <laughs> like we talked about earlier, you can always tell when there's just a little bit of a gap because the bands tend to stop and do a little performance mm -hmm. as they work their way through. And, right. and I, I believe if we're right, now I'm gonna speculate here, it, it should be the KMS Marching Saints coming up. Fingers crossed. Yeah, and, and you know, if, we, if you saw their performance last year yes. and their celebration of Pearl Harbor and then getting a chance to go out to oh, Hawaii yeah. and perform as part of that uh, anniversary, um, they seem to, to come up with something new each and every year. And I know this year's uh, is pretty exciting and pretty stunning as they're ready for their, uh, their this year's campaign as they go out and perform at some of these great, great festivals. I just absolutely loved Last year's, I watched a few of those videos too. I just couldn't get enough of them. They're wonderful. You know, as I said, this being the 72nd anniversary or celebration of Wilmerfest, we've really had our candidates, 10 of them this year, as well as our current relatives, get yeah, audited a lot of things. You know, things kicked off Wednesday morning with a flag raising at Selvig Park. Uh, we had Legion Post 167 come out and to help us uh, raise the flag. We did a, a little homage to the Coffee Fest portion of Warfest mm -hmm. with coffee with the candidates. Mm -hmm. Chance to meet the candidates and the royalty over at the Barn Theater. Um, Wednesday, they, they had the Queen Splash, of course the Pie and Ice Cream Social, the Prairie Wind Summer Band Concert, performing this year out of Robbins Island since the construction work's going on at Rice Park. Right. As they're adding in the splash pad and some new things. Uh, it was perfect. It was a beautiful night, great venue. Thursday, they were, of course, busy with the downtown block party with the Wilmer JCs. They do such a phenomenal job each and every year, putting together a lot of different things, a lot of great entertainment, but also some good food and just great fun as part of the block party. Yesterday, they were busy doing some volunteering and engaging. Really, they started that on Monday and Tuesday, too, kind of behind the scenes. Um, just getting ready, too, for coronation. A lot of practice and working on what they're going to do. They got to meet with the judges. We have come in from really across the state to help decide who's going to be our queen and our two princesses, the Aqua International Princess. And now today is, is the busiest day. They had pancakes this morning. They've got the parade now. There's your Scooby-Doo, too. Oh, there's Scooby. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it, it is just, it's a very full day. They've got coronation coming up at three o'clock where we'll crown the new royalty and then get ready for the beach party tonight. Oh, here we are in for a treat. Again, this is the KMS Marching Saints representing Kirkhoven, Murdoch and Sunberg. 
as James was saying, they have traveled all over. I, I mean, there, we could probably talk for an hour about what these Colorado, guys have been involved Washington, in. Washington, D.C., Michigan. They've been to Canada. They went to Hawaii, New York, and Boston. Uh, just phenomenal. And this year's performance is titled Because of the Brave. Next up is the uh, Little Crow Ski Team as they enter their 38th year on the water. Always excited to have them as part of Wilmerfest performing out at Robbins Island. This year's theme features the high flying jumpers, they've got the speeding barefooters, giant human pyramids, and of course the graceful ballet lines. Their theme featuring the whimsical Dr. Seuss storyline. You can join them for their Wilmerfest show. That's happening tonight at 7.30 out at uh, Robbins Island. Of course, any Friday night out at Near Park in New London. The Little Crow Ski Team, they're showing off their boats and some of their great skiers. Uh, they're used to wet conditions, of course, at the Little Crow Ski Team.
as a ski team rolls by, we were talking about the KMS Marching Saints, and boy, they have a very strong, strong active music boosters group. They're responsible for all the fundraising, making sure everybody looks their best, sounds their best. They have everything that they need to perform as they're out. Their uh, booster president is Rachel Jepson, and she's got a pretty good crew around her as they're working out each and every uh, performance that they go out. They, they do quite a few shows throughout the year. There's one of the beautiful boats the Little Crow Ski Team has. Those big Evinrudes behind them, those are uh, one of the boats that pulls those jumpers and those barefooters as they perform out at Near Park in New London. Bev, you've been to quite a few ski shows over the years. Oh yeah. What, what, what really gets you? Is it, is it the jumpers, the ballet lines? I like the pyramid. Oh, isn't that amazing? <laughs> I always thought it'd be cool to be the one that climbs all the way to the top because when they get done to get off, they just jump. Right. I love it, yeah. it's so much fun. Yeah, they have some sweet boats. <laughs> yeah, there's the boats. big, the triple decker Evan Roods in the back, that's got some power. They'll be ready to hit the water a little bit later this afternoon out at uh, Robbins Island as part of the beach party tonight. And that show is a free show tonight. All right. And we have another candidate for Wilmer Fest. This is Samantha Uren, and she's a 19-year-old daughter of Jennifer and Lee. She is a 2016 High Honors graduate from Wilmer Senior High. She's been involved in many things, as you can imagine, choir, jazz choir, orchestra, um, she also received the CLC All-Conference Award for her, her participation in choir, National Honor Society, uh, varsity letters in softball, you name it. This, this girl's uh, very, very involved in the community as well. And her sponsor is Mills Auto. Yeah, Samantha actually got to uh, play with the U.S. team, the U18 softball team in an international tournament that went down to the Dominican Republic to play softball. Very it's some nice. of the world's best. So many great opportunities for students these days. Her sponsor, Mills Auto, you mentioned. Well, here's some of those great vehicles at Mills Auto. You buy a truck like that. It's a pretty big one. That's, that's nice, but I like the other one they sold me. So. Oh, well, that works out too. <laughs> the Mills Automotive Group, proud supporters of Wilmer Fest, and are glad to be here spending the day with us. That's a bright truck right there. How about that? That's nice. That would be about my speed, though. I could see myself in that. That's be styling, very stylish. You wouldn't lose it in the parking lot. You'd That's know where it true. is. That's true. And premium water is in the Wilmerfest Grand Day Parade today as well. Your local bottled water provider for residential and commercial delivery. Oh, look at that. Yeah, they're handing out water, and you'll, you can actually see that's uh, part of Wilmer Community Ed and Rec. Some of the lifeguards are out there, and the Community Ed and Rec staff, and uh, kind of a, a big group here as uh, Wilmer Community Ed and Rec, a partnership with the City of Wilmer and Wilmer Public Schools. There's uh, something for everyone. And boy, joining them oh, this year, you see that right behind sweet. them there? Sweet, we had a nice surprise for everybody. Yeah, this is very exciting. This is the Minnesota Vikings Skull Drumline. And they're here in celebration of the Destination Playground. Yeah, they're actually going to be here. Uh, the uh, Destination Playground group was able to receive a legacy grant to help complete the building through the Minnesota Vikings, the Super Bowl 52 Legacy Fund. And so the Minnesota Vikings Skull Drumline came out. You'll see a couple of cheerleaders joining in as well. And uh, it's just a, a great opportunity for them to come be part of the Warfare Fest Parade, but also to help celebrate uh, the opening of the, the incredible destination playground that's out at Robbins Island. Handing out some Viking swag, too, we like that. So the Vikings hosting Super Bowl 52 coming up this year. Let's go! 
run out and eat the cheerleaders? <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, they even have their Skull Drumline van all decked out and going through. This next group, uh, we're, we're very honored to have them as our Grand Marshals two years ago in the parade because of what they do to help make Wilmer Fest happen. This is the City of Wilmer Public Works Department. They keep Wilmer streets and parks beautiful. They do all the behind the scenes stuff. You know, they set everything up and get things rolling for us. Uh, if you look at the front, if you pay close attention to the blades on the snow plows, uh, it's a special thanks to the students from Roosevelt and Kennedy Schools, as well as the Wilmer Area Arts Council. It was the first annual Paint the Plow program. These plows may even make the Wilmer snow removal a little more enjoyable. It's, it's always a tough thing. <laughs> I but like that one. They did. They painted them all up, and uh, they, they are very cute, and they had a ton of help doing them. You'll see, too, the banners on the side of the uh, Public Works trucks here for the Destination Playground. They are, of course, okay. very instrumental in that process and getting everything going. Um, Robbins Island really is that jewel here in our Wilmer community. It's why we feature it in a lot of things, especially the beach party, but now having that great playground, which they'll uh, officially open today at one o'clock with a grand opening celebration. Ken Warner from the Chamber, very instrumental in that process with the playground, along with uh, Rachel Scredfit, um, Kathy Schwantis, I hope I don't miss anybody, but just an incredible team, Sarah Carlson from the Community Foundation. Uh, very involved, very engaged in that. Dave Baker, of right. course, who's walking with them too. Uh, Representative Baker uh, was one of his ideas. He wanted to get going and, and he was helpful uh, up in Spicer as part of their big playground and now it got it to happen here in Wilmer. Some of the kids of the Public Works Department helping out too, and I'm sure they're going to be having fun playing. Well, I know this group pretty well. I was well. going to say, you I better suppose. take this one. Yeah, it's the United Way Gromobile. Uh, looks like they've got quite a few of the staff, Natalie and Amelia, uh, Kirsten and Miranda. Uh, the United Way staff, of course, takes the Gromobile. It's our, our summer learning bus out and about to area parks around the community, helping kids get ready for kindergarten, giving them that preschool experience throughout the summer. We can go out and get some candy corn, I think. Mm. Yes, this is the Kandewai County Corn and Soybean Growers Association. Uh, they're proud to be part of the community, and you know they really are the root and foundation of our community, the farmers. We know the importance that we have in the local area to be good land stewards. They're fiscally responsible, so they can keep agriculture vibrant in the Wilmer area for many generations to follow. Uh, Noah Hulkren, his wife Paula, and the Hulkren <laughs> kids are riding in the parade as well. And let's go fishing. I've been happy to be part of this uh, organization in the past. They do a wonderful job at taking out uh, folks on the water, uh, seniors, youth, veterans, uh, disabled uh, folks. It, it's just a really great opportunity to have that experience out on the water that they normally wouldn't be able to. Um, celebrating their 16th season on the water. And this is the Phoenix Drumline, a nonprofit parent run organization. It's based in Hutchinson. And this involves students in grades 7 through 12. They perform a lot of parades and events throughout the state. And they do a winter indoor performance as well, where they compete with other drumlines. Minnesota Percussion. Again, that's the Phoenix Drumline. So if you're keeping track, that's two bands. Two drum lines so far. Mm -hmm. There's more to come. And I oh. imagine some of these folks will be joining the, you know, perhaps the Hutchinson Marching Tigers oh, yeah. at some point too. You know. oh. <laughs> <laughs> For Dave and Cody on the cameras, I think, don't you?
front line. I think they put a little swerve there on the boys, though. I tell you what, we've got great camera crew working for us again today. Uh, Dave and Cody up front there. Well, following right behind the Phoenix Drumline trailer, we have our next Wilmerfest candidate. This is uh, Jenna Jago, the 19-year-old daughter of Will and Sarah Jago. She's a 2016 Honors and Academic Distinction graduate from Wilmer Senior High School. Uh, she was in the KCEO program, very accomplished swimmer. Uh, she was a student leader, both at Courage and Respect Retreats as well. Uh, she's currently a lifeguard at the Dorothy Olson Aquatic Center and going to South Dakota State University. Uh, her Wilmer Fest sponsor, Divine Home Care and Hospice. This is always a lot of fun for our candidates to get to see a lot of people, right. friends and family they maybe haven't seen in a while and really get to enjoy things. And uh, just a quick mention on Divine Home Care too, that was her sponsor. They serve 20 counties, five offices, uh, certified in-home health care. And this of course, recognizable, the Candy Ohio County Recycling Truck and Containers. like some John Deere Green with the Family Promise of Kenway County. Now they work with area churches and organizations to help homeless become self-sufficient. The churches provide meals and a safe place to sleep at night and during the day they work on getting ready and finding a job, getting back on a, a, a really a life path for the most part to obtain affordable housing and other goals they have. Family Promise of course always looking for volunteers as well. Well, here you've got three great music choices. It's Hot Country, K95. They play today's best country and all the new and cool country first. The River, that's your home for light rock favorites. McRae Sports and Gold Country, 1590. They've got uh, great country hits from the 50s to the 90s. Um, that Rush Limbaugh guy, of course. They have Gopher Football and Minnesota Twins Baseball. And Woodland Center is joining us in the Grand Day Parade as well, a community of mental health providers offering a range of services to support people of all ages in hope and recovery. the rumble in the studio already <laughs> there it is i i love these guys this mm -hmm. is the osmond shrine cycle core of course they ride and perform with harley davidson motorcycles now they ride so people can know about the shrine and the twin city shriners hospitals for children and they've got the shrine bear riding along on the sidecar okay. the performances these guys do the circles and the right. figure eights there's the precision and and they're doing it on big bikes <laughs> You can feel the rumble as they go by, though, on those things. They certainly are. And even a trike or two in there, I see. Mm -hmm. You'll see from time to time different Shriner organizations and different modes of vehicles. Right. Uh, these guys are our Precision Harley Brigade. You can see them doing a little bit of them performing. Right as they do it, right down the street.
and I believe this is the Painesville crew. Yeah, from uh, Painesville the, Town and Country Days. 2017 royalty. They're one of the last few parades that our Wilmerfest royalty do is at the end of their cycle. Okay. Uh, these young ladies were just crowned um, back on uh, June 10th in Painesville. So this is one of their one of their first few parades to get out and meet and greet the public. They have a lot of fun doing it though. And one of our own candidates for Wilmer Fest is Lily Somke. She's the 19-year-old daughter of Kimberly and Brock Somke, a 2016 honors graduate. She's been involved with choir, uh, band, and a cappella choir. She became the lead in the King and I in her senior year. Uh, also chosen for CLC's Honor Choir. Again, another very involved, accomplished young woman. Well, she works at Waltz, the Stingers, and teaches also private piano and voice lessons to kids. She loves to travel, and Lily's Wilmer Fest sponsor is Bremer Bank. She is right now attending North Central University in the city, studying music, youth ministry, and theater. That sounds wonderful. She's quite an accomplished singer. She'll actually be performing out in Benson in the next couple of weeks at an event, and um, likes to get out and do a lot of that. Uh, plays a little piano as well. Very talented young woman. Then we can mention that the uh, coronation, we've met a few of the candidates, and we've got 10 in total this year that are vying for Queen of Festivals, Aqua Princess, and International Princess. That coronation happens over at the Wilmer Education and Arts Center at 3 o'clock today. You can stop by, show your support for the young ladies, and, and find out who's, who's going to win. Um, the uh, coronation is, is, is a lot of fun. It's a great event. Plus, when it gets a little warmer, it's also a great event to get inside right. <laughs> and to uh, cool off a little bit, too. This being the 72nd year for Wilmerfest, and it is a uh, combination of festivals. It's a combination of the Coffee Fest, right. the Aqua Fest, International Fest, and the Framries Fest. And each part of it gets a little bit of a, a different piece of the week uh, throughout the Wilmerfest celebration. And it, it goes on with some pretty incredible sponsors. I mentioned Genio Turkey Store earlier. We've got great support and, uh, and really just honored to be part of it with the City of Wilmer. You know, whether it's the Public Works Department, our Wilmer City Council, uh, all the different pieces of, of the City of Wilmer helping us out to make sure those goes off really without a flaw. And it's been an incredible week, e even with a little rain. We can survive right. it. Oh, yeah. And the Hawk Creek Animal Shelter joining us in the Grand Day Parade. They do a wonderful job of taking care of fur babies until they're adopted. That's where I got my two. And uh, they also have a great source of information for pets and their owners too. If you know you have questions about your own, you know, current pets you've adopted, that type of thing, they do a great job. Well, they do such a phenomenal job of just matching people with pets. Right. And I bet you you can even adopt one of these <laughs> lovely pooches. <laughs> Perfect day for them to be out too. Nice and cool. Yes, absolutely. Well, I'm not sure who's walking who, Bev. I agree with you.
dogs look like they're eating up the attention. I think there's a lot for them to look at. They're trying to figure out where can I get to the candy probably too. <laughs> One in the middle does not want to walk a straight <laughs> You saw their trailer earlier. Mm -hmm. They actually have what's a, a, a pet disaster trailer. Oh, you know, you think I about when a that. severe weather comes through, whether it's a tornado or even right. the flooding of last year, yes. you kind of forget about what happens to the pets. Right. And so they actually have a trailer to, to deal with emergency situations and disaster situations. So they can take care of our four-legged, or as you said, fur baby friends mm -hmm. that kind of get forgotten about when we, we worry about whether or not we're going to be okay. Right. It's a great part of the mission and the work for the Hawk Creek Animal Shelter. Quite a change here since the parade started with the uh, weather though. Look at the blue, seeing some blue sky now. and. Perfect day, perfect weather for this type of event and the rest of the events. Yeah, still quite a bit to get to yet today. We mentioned Coronation, the grand opening of the uh, Wilmer's Destination Playground. That'll happen at one o'clock. Jenny O Turkey Store, being our premier sponsor, also sponsors a kids' carnival. And that goes on kind of simultaneous with the grand opening of the playground. We have a lot of kids out there that want to hit the playground, but they're also going to be able to play on 12 inflatables. Oh, yes. Obstacle courses, bouncy houses, there's yes. a princess house, the Mickey Mouse house, and they'll get to enjoy those as well. That runs from one until three today, uh, just up until the coronation time. And then we're back out to Robbins Island later tonight for the free Little Crow Ski Show, the free concert with the White Keys, and of course, Works Over Water at 10 o'clock. They'll launch those from the pier out at Robbins Island. An incredible fireworks show, and kind of the culmination, the, the, really the nightcap uh, to Wilmer Fest 2017. From our vantage point here on uh, Litchfield Avenue between 4th and 5th Street, we can see quite a bit and our uh, amazing camera crew and of course all the right. behind the scenes guys here helping out with Larry and uh, director Rudy V. Hill. Kind of like Rudy as he's working there trying to make us look good. We have the easy part. Some more of our four-legged friends getting a chance to meet the kids along the parade route. I think the Salvation Army is trying to work their way on up here. 120 years serving the Wilmer area.
And here we go again, another group that works so hard to uh, help us all out when disaster strikes with, with food, with water, with clothing, with so many. So many things, you're, you're absolutely right. You know, they were very instrumental in the work that happened last uh, summer and after the August 11th rains. You know, they were there with their food truck, helping muck out basements, right. mobilizing volunteers. Uh, just one of those great, great community partners that puts everything together. You might recognize this bus if you're in downtown Wilmer. It's one of the transport buses from the church downtown, Bethel Lutheran Church, uh, Generations in Faith. Got their bus, of course, to go pick people up, bring them back and forth, get them to services as they can. Generations and Faith Together gift. Yes. That's cool. That's cool. I believe that's Pastor John Dahl sitting there in the back, waving away. They were one of the uh, new additions this year to the downtown block party, of course, located right there, um, in, kind of in the middle of everything. Right. <laughs> they hosted some kids' carnival games. Oh. Lots of different games for different challenges for the kids win prizes. They did some face painting, just a, a lot of fun. A great part of the Wilmer JC's down, down, downtown block party from this past Thursday night. <laughs> oh, they're having fun. Some more great music we are in store for with the Dassel Cocado Marching Chargers. They are performing Night on Bald Mountain under the direction of drum major Dana Johnson.
the Dassel Coquito marching charges for their support staff behind them. And here comes up the uh, KRA Speedway stock car races. You can see much of their support trucks, the tires, the cars, some of the racers too. Thursday nights, they happen at the Kanye County Fairgrounds in Wilmer. Plenty of great food, fun. It's all exciting dirt track racing on the 3 8 mile banked track. You always know it's Thursday night oh, yes. in Wilmer because you can hear the races happening. Mm Smile, you're on candid camera. And we have a wonderful float. Would you call it a float if it's full of rocks? I don't know, but it looks really great. It does look really this great. This is the Hutchinson Water Carnival. Hutchinson's been very well represented in our parade today here, yeah, James. Absolutely. They even have running water on this. That's amazing. Yeah, it is just a beautiful, of course, their community right around the Crow River. Yes. Now, we have Commodore Jacob, Vice Commodore Tess. On the float there, you'll see Queen Bailey, Princess Lorena, Junior Queen Aubrey. The Junior Commodore is Marshall. Now, Hutchinson's Woman of the Year was Connie Lambert. And then you have Mr. Hutchinson, Bob Peterson in there as well. And we have another one of our Wilmerfest candidates. This is Jennifer Gratz. She's the daughter of Michael and Joy, another 2016 High Honors graduate from Wilmer Senior High. Uh, she helps a lot with church activities. She's been involved in diving, yearbook, National Honor Society. Um, also involved in a venture crew through the Boy Scouts and also a YMCA a mentor, part of that program. She works at Caribou Coffee in Wilmer and also at the Dorothy Olson Aquatic Center during the summer. And her Wilmer Fest sponsor is Slumberland Furniture. Next up, the Belgrade Ambassadors, Megan, Jennifer, and Jennifer. So it's Megan, Jennifer, Jennifer. <laughs> Junior Ambassadors, uh, Elan, Jacinta, Megan. Of course, they celebrate August Fest, and that comes up this year on August 12th up in Belgrade. What a nice float. Well, I believe this is Glenwood Waterama. That's one of my, I, I gotta be honest with you, one of my favorite celebrations to be part of when we take our Wilmerfest crew up to Glenwood each and every year for Waterama. They've got their junior queens with them, as well as uh, their commodore and captain. Yes, that's uh, again, Glenwood Waterama up on the shores of Lake Minnewaska in Glenwood. And here we see Bethany Christian Services making their way on the parade route. They specialize in adoption, foster care, and also provide support services uh, for expectant parents, advocacy, counseling. Again, that's Bethany Christian Services.
I get to recognize a few of those girls. So the uh, McCray High School students, yeah. the 2016-2017 Clara City Prairie Fest ambassadors, Kimberly, Emily, and Annie, and their festival is coming up uh, in July, the weekend after the 4th, July 7th and 8th, for the 2017 Prairie Fest celebration. Uh, they host an incredible rib fest. Oh. At theirs, and it's a great community. It's, it happens right down at the Central Park in Clara City. Is that during their celebration? Yes, that's then? during their mm -hmm. celebration. Uh, we've had a lot of fun eating corn on the cob, lots of ribs. It, it's just a, a very fun, fun celebration in Clara City, just down the road a few miles. These young ladies have done a great job representing their oh. community over the year, too. And Wilmer Hockey. Now, James, this is the Queen's Choice Award, right? Yeah, there's always uh, a number of awards that are handed out to the different participants. A Queen's Choice and a Mayor's Choice. And the Wilmer Hockey crew won the Queen's Choice Award this year. And what they have here in the parade today is the Learn to Skate, Learn to Play Hockey, also Community Ed and Rec, Wilmer Hockey Association, Wilmer High School Hockey, and the Adult League as well. You know, Wilmer Hockey, uh, definitely growing. They've got all the kids there. Um, you know, you want to learn to skate, throw a few pucks around, uh, just, you know, have a lot of fun. You know, they encourage a lot of people to get out for all different ages. And this is Litchfield Watercade and their royalty. They have Miss Litchfield Haley and Princesses Justine and Michelle. Their 61st annual Litchfield Watercade is right after the 4th of July. They'll be July 6th through the 9th. They have a great street dance and, and ooh, Crimson Edge, Flathead. Sounds like some good music. Georgia Satellites, I think, oh, playing yeah. too. You bet. Well, next up, uh, one of our Wilmer Fest candidates. This is uh, Chloe Holverson. Uh, Chloe is the 19-year-old daughter of Rhonda Otteson and Matthew and Jennifer Hol uh, Holverson. She graduated tw from 2016 from Wilmer Senior High School. Uh, she was a knowledgeable part of the set crew for musicals, National Honor Society. Outside of school, she worked in her church nursery uh, as a dietary aide. She's a hostess at Green Mill as well. And uh, she is sponsored by the longest sponsor name we have this year. Anderson, Larson, Saunders, Clausen, and Dolliker, uh, the, the Anderson Larson right. Law Firm Group. Now I'm seeing purple, so Maybe. I'm assuming this is Jane Vixie Real Estate, that very recognizable uh, purple signs, purple flags. There she be. She looks, looks like she's going incognito there. Yeah, Jane Vixie Real Estate, uh, they connect buyers and sellers. Next up, Redeemer Lutheran Church and Preschool. Redeemer Lutheran Church, uh, sharing Christ, changing lives. Uh, they want you to join them for their community picnics. They host those Wednesdays. Uh, June 28th is their next one. That runs from five till seven at Redeemer. And of course, Vacation Bible School coming up at Redeemer. That's in July, the 16th through the 20th. Girl Scouts, their Troop 550, or 3507, followed by Children of the Promise. Uh, they're a, a nonprofit care center located in northern Haiti. Yeah, they want to create a healthy Christian home and family for every Haitian child. Not often you see flannel looking shirts on a Wilmer Fest parade day. <laughs> exactly. And the Wilmer Noon Lions in today's parade, serving the Wilmer area for over 75 years. What does that say? Yeah, 100, 100. years. Yeah, this is their 100th <laughs> celebration, 1917 to 2017. 
good friend John Marchand walking with his Wilmer New Lions group. John performs as part of the 1060 West Addison Blues Brother Tribute Group. Okay. They performed out at the uh, Prairie Windsor Band Concert out at Robbins Island Wednesday night. Okay. I'm not sure which of the Blues Brothers he tries to duplicate, but he does a pretty phenomenal job. <laughs> but it would have been the Dan Aykroyd one, because mm. he's the skinny guy. Got it. Yeah. And we have another candidate for Wilmer Fest. This is Mary Carlson. She's the daughter of Michael and Elizabeth. Uh, highest honor with distinction graduate from Wilmer Senior High. She's been involved in 4-H, student council, NHS, knowledgeable, musical, speech. The list is too long, James. Mm -hmm. I just can't tell you how great she is. Uh, again, another accomplished young woman. Uh, Mary has made the dean's list both of her semesters in her freshman year here at college, rather. And uh, her sponsor is Conway Duth and Schmeezing. And that is Mary Carlson. Well, we mentioned them earlier for some of the biggest toys in the parade. Yes. Uh, here comes our friends from Haug Implement, your hard work and hometown family-owned John Deere dealership. They've been serving uh, West Central Minnesota since 1918, coming up on 100 years. Isn't that incredible? Uh, they're third and fourth generation owners, Butch and Paul Haug. Welcome farmers, small acreage owners, homeowners. Yeah, you can get some of those toys for your yard as well. Uh, they're operated by over 50 professional and friendly personnel, whether it's parts, sales, service. Uh, they have John Deere tractors, combines, skid steers, lots of great toys. They also offer America's favorite brands of John Deere lawn tractors, uh, compact tractors, commercial mowers. They have Gator utility vehicles. They help us out as part of the Wilmerfest Parade with some of the vehicles as well to make sure we can get around and about as uh, board members and as parade directors as well. Now they're pretty hardworking guys over at uh, Haug Implement. And Domino's. They always provide that $3.99 parade special. And of course, their store is located on Litchfield Avenue, Domino's Pizza. That sounds pretty good. It does. Now, it's available while supplies last, but it's a 10 inch personal pan pizza, mm -hmm. or a pepperoni pizza. Maybe get Rudy to get us a few of those. Limit five per person. What are the rest I, of you going to eat? I, <laughs> I just, I just am always curious when they have the squad car, <laughs> the Domino squad car out, are they going to pull you over for not eating pizza? Because that's a ticket I don't want. And we have the Sauk Center Royalty, I believe, for 20, this is the 2016 Royalty. Miss Sauk Center Sarah and Princess Stephanie and Princess Kendra. Another Miss Sock Center pageant is coming up on July 13th. They have uh, seven candidates this year, so you can get up and celebrate and find out who will be their 2017 royalty coming up here in just a, a few short weeks. Another one of those great Minnesota summer festivals, and it's always fun to see all the different ones and the things that they do differently. Yeah. Um, they're all unique, they're all really respective of their communities, and it's, it's a fun, fun process. This is one of my favorites, the boat. Yes. yes. Talk about a great parade piece, but again, ties really well into Miss New London. Yeah, it's New London, uh, Miss New London Danielle, Princess Megan, and uh, Courtney, the other princess. They want to invite you to the beautiful New London. Uh, they're, of course, on the Crow River, about 20 miles northeast of Wilmer on Highway 23. Uh, many shops and boutiques, a lot of fun, of course, home for the award-winning Little Crow Ski Team, performing every Friday night. Uh, they host the Antique Car Run as well. They've got a great music festival in August. You can find out more. That's at newlondonmn.net. But you can get up and celebrate with uh, New London Water Days.
and Cashwise Foods in our Grand Day Parade today. Yeah, home of the truckload by Cashwise Foods. You can almost hear them singing right from in here again. It's our singing Flatable Auctioneers. Now they have their fantastic quilt auction coming up on July 22nd as part of the Green Lake Bible Camp. There's a family of flair with the Flatables and their auction oh, service. Good peeps. Absolutely. Look at that, the old tractor, and he's out there singing away as they roll right along. our Wilmer Fest candidates. She is the daughter of Brian and Christine Schuler. She's very involved with 4-H, FFA, and uh, very connected with uh, the horse project in 4-H, volunteers on several committees. Uh, she has been a student at Ridgewater and she's going to be going to South Dakota State University for ag education. And Michaela's Wilmer Fest sponsor is the Midwest Technology Campus. seeing red here I think that means Edina Realty is working their way up in the parade of course at Edina Realty it's all about community community begins at home their agents hard-working they know their neighborhoods inside and out um, they just love helping families find the perfect home or I should say the perfect house to call the perfect home Edina Realty proud to call Wilmer home and you've got many of the uh, kids and family members from Edina Realty as they work their way through the Wilmer Fest parade First, the very iconic red Edina Realty right. signs. We're in for another treat. More music. It's the Fergus Falls High School Marching Band. And they're heading into their season with about 100 members. Past honors have included four appearances in the International Lions Parade with first place finishes in Seattle in 2011, Boston 2006. And they also represented our fine state of Minnesota uh, twice at the presidential inaugural parades. This year the band wants to honor the men and women of the armed forces as they play songs from the Army, Navy, Marines, and the Air Force. And they are calling it Stars and Stripes Forever.
still hear the sounds of the Fergus Fall High School marching band and the flashing lights of Ed's Service Center and towing. I tell you what, Faith and the crew at Ed's always take such great care of people when they're in a pretty stressful situation right. where the car won't start or it's stuck or God forbid there's been an accident. Ed's Service Center always there, always quick to the spot. They do such a great, great job I have uh, through a our community. Dial. I do too, Ed. <laughs> Un unfortunately, I do. <laughs> That's exactly it. With it. Look at the big record they've got. So uh, whether you're driving a small car, a big car, or I'm gonna guess one of those can pull a pretty good sized semi out of the ditch if they have to. And we have another candidate. This is Ashley Olson. She's the daughter of Tim and Cindy, a highest honors graduate from Wilmer Senior High. She has been selected to be an all-state band, uh, all-conference jazz band, many organizations also uh, through her church. And uh, she's also involved in band and choir at college. And she's at Concordia in Moorhead. Ashley's Wilmer Fest sponsor is Heritage Bank. One of the big trucks from Dooley's Petroleum. Now they've been distributing fuels, propane, lubricants to residential commercial ag sites across the upper Midwest for more than 50 years in the area. They have their beautiful new office and facility out in Wilmer's Industrial Park now, too. And Youth for Christ, part of the Wilmer community since 1946. Their mission to call young people to be lifelong followers. There's Patrick CB, and you see the go-karts in the back. Patrick actually facilitates one of these programs that they have. They, they take the go-karts out and work, do some mission work with kids and talk to them, and then they get to have a little bit of fun too, cruising the go-karts. Some great activities from youth camps to summer events and summer road trips as well. Yeah, their campus life program is really good. Are you hungry? <laughs> That's a walking hot sauce packet oh, from Taco man. Bell. Oh now I've seen uh, everything. It's taco time. Next up is Miss Bruton's royalty, Miss Bruton, Jordan, Princess Amber, and Sonia. So they have their, their junior princesses on there as well, little Miss Bruton. And North American State Bank with the recognizable old reliable in today's parade. They have a very long banking history. That's why they call it old reliable. Looks like they've taken over by pirates, though. Uh, yes. They're shooting tennis balls. <laughs> North American State Bank located at the intersection of 28th Avenue and uh, South First Street in Wilmer. There's home to Dunn Brothers Coffee as well there. They're also a former recipient of the Queen's Choice Award in the Wilmer yes. Best Grand Day Parade. these pirates didn't break into the vault at the bank. And this fine group received the Mayor's Choice Award. This is Cub Scout Pack 432. They're celebrating the Pinewood Derby and the fun of scouting. And they are part of the Northern Star Council of Boy Scouts of America. Looks like they have one of the big 
life-size Pinewood Ooh. Derby cars right there on the back of their float. Of course, the little ones in the back you're more familiar with from right. the Pinewood Derby days. I remember assisting with making one of those at one point. Now these guys would definitely be more comfortable in the water. It's the Wilmer Area Aquatic Racing Stingrays Swim Club. Their team is year-round, highly competitive swim team, offering high-quality coaching and uh, unique instruction for kids of all ages and abilities. Uh, the goal of the team is to provide every member the opportunity to improve their swimming skills and achieve success at his or her ability uh, from novice to advanced competitors. I'm gonna guess they don't use the floaties all that often. <laughs> One of the great coaches from the uh, Stingrays. It's Clifford the Big Red oh, Dog. Oh, that's perfect. The Wilmer Public Library. <laughs> and they're being represented today by the members of the library's Teen Advisory Board. Our current ambassadors, Carly, Alicia, and Hannah, along with all of our candidates, were at the Wilmer Public Library on uh, Thursday morning with a Prince and Princess Story Hour. Oh, very Got a nice. chance to read some stories with some young kids, uh, make some sugar cookies. They frosted them and had to sit and eat. I think they ate a lot of cookies, <laughs> but they had a lot of fun. <laughs> Sounds like a, a pretty good gig. A fun, great time for those girls to get out. We saw Clifford, we saw Batman, and now a banana. Mm. I'm trying to figure out the connection there. I'm, I'm, that's a, <laughs> it's, if Curious George is running around, that would explain the banana. <laughs> Batman, I'm not so sure. Here's the bright yellow signs and shirts from the crew from Weikert Realtors. Uh, buying or selling, they'll take you home. Yeah, Weikert. I love their signs, because yeah. you, know, you see you, the, the spelling of Y-Kurt, you go, oh, is it Y-Kurt, Or-Kurt, or -Kurt? No, it's Y-Kurt. <laughs> Very clever. Got the whole family today. And coming up here, we help we have. Uh, two groups, the Broken Ministry and also the Fortress. The Fortress is a men's home in Wilmer, uh, which is restoring uh, lives of men. Uh, the mission of the Fortress is being committed to help transform lives, uh, broken, lost, in recovery, etc. They do a great job. See some of the guys who cook and work with the guys, lead the guys. And they are a great group of, of men that are, are looking for opportunities to, to really get back into really this society. They actually volunteered out at the playground build as well. Oh, good. We got to work side by side. A hard working group of young men. And Raymond Harvest Festival coming up next. You can see the Harvest Colors for Raymond. Uh, they're a scholarship and community leadership program for the community of Raymond, just down the road on Highway 23. Uh, Megan and Ellie, your 2016-17 Harvest Fest ambassadors. They want to invite you to celebrate Harvest Fest in Raymond. It's always the last weekend in August. It's always a lot of fun. 
it's always kind of a sad moment for us as part of Wilmer Fest because it's one of the last things oh, we do sure. before our girls head up back off to college. Right. Um, but uh, just a fun, fun event, that's for certain. And Ellie and uh, Megan have represented uh, the community of Raven quite well. And this is the Great Lakes Training Group. Uh, they do such a good job. Oh, that is, that takes some skill. I took a couple of classes and it's, wow, they do it. They do a wonderful job. Now they do what, youth jujitsu and mm -hmm. judo classes? Yep, and adults too. You see uh, uh, Eric, Sh Eric there. And yep. Shane yep. Johnson right. uh, from over at Bremer Bank is, mm -hmm. is one of the members there. Um, uh, one of our great sponsors too, one of our candidates this year, but he's part of this group. And he was talking last night when we were at the Stingers baseball game uh, that they're just excited to get these kids out and show off their skills and their talent. But again, it's really for all ages from the young to old involved in judo and jujitsu. They do Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays really all year long. They're located on Benson Avenue here in downtown Wilmer. Very recognizable, the windmills of Grove City. Yes, their August Fest royalty, Little Miss Jaden and Little Princess Melanie. They want you to come join Grove City the third weekend in August. That is Grove City August Fest. Oh, it looks like the rain has returned. So we get the windmill and the umbrellas popping up. But they were prepared. Nothing's going to dissuade them, though, from waving and having fun. No. And the Wilmer High School Cardettes dance team, they work very hard on their parade routine from May on. Put together by the captains and older members of the dance team, the Cardettes. We'll see them, of course, at a lot of performances with the Wilmer Cardinal football team and basketball teams throughout the uh, school year. Uh, but they, they try to do some summer performance as well, and of course all of their uh, judge performances throughout the year. up behind them the Wilmer wrestling team the wrestlers have represented Wilmer at the state tournament winning the section tournament for six consecutive seasons last season the team placed six at the state tournament five of their wrestlers placed in the top four and individually at the state tournament for those returning to lead this year's squad as they'll get uh, underway later this fall the wrestling program will be having a summer camp and they do this July 24th through the 27th at the Wilmer Middle School. You can get information about wrestling, how to register. It's all through Wilmer Community Ed and Rec. It didn't seem remotely concerned that it nope. was raining. They weren't having a problem at all. And Trans Systems, always in the Wilmer Fest Grand Day Parade as well. Family owned and family oriented for 75 years. They're out of Renville and very proud to be a part of that community. That's Trans Systems. Those very recognizable green trucks. Their website too, recognize that as well, driveteamgreen.com. Oh, this appears to be the Bargains and Blessings Thrift Store. It's Wilmer's newest thrift store located at the Skylark Center on South First Street.
Okay. Uh, well, as the rain continues to weather roll conditions. in, <laughs> it looks like with the rain and now even some heavy, uh, heavy rain showers and a little bit of hail, it uh, looks like we're coming up on the end of the coverage of this year's Wilmer Fest Parade. Grab an umbrella and stay dry, Bev. Yes, and we want to thank everybody, Dave, Cody, Larry, Rudy, and myself and James for watching the Wilmer Fest Grand Day Parade for 2017.